Hey, what's going on, guys? I just, um, I like to share with you, and I prayed before I uh, did this video. Um, <clears throat> I like to share with you guys my hell experience. Um, two or three days ago, I uploaded a, a video, you know, of uh, me seeing Jesus, and that is 100% true. I did see Jesus, but like I said, I only saw from like the um, bottom of his nose to like the top of his uh, forehead. But, um, my hell experience, I had two hell experiences, this, this will be part one, um, when I was a little kid, I've, uh, always wanted for him to take me there, just so I can, I can see and feel and hear and smell what it, what it was like, um, I said, Lord, <clears throat> sorry, um, I, why do I keep doing that every video, but I said, Lord, will you please take me to hell? I want to see what it's like. That was, that was when I was just in like in preschool or in kindergarten or first grade. And about two years ago, he did take me there. And uh, I wasn't comfortable telling people, but now I am. I would love to uh, tell people that uh, hell is real. Uh, Jesus is real. Heaven is real. And... um I did pray before I um, I said this, and I know the Lord will go and protect me as I tell you guys this. But um, my hell experience, my first hell experience. Um, well, okay, let me give you a backstory. Um, in my other video when I saw Jesus, I kind of gave you a backstory when I was little. I neglected God. I l l neglected His Word. I believed in Him, and I accepted Him, but I kind of blew Him off. If that makes any sense. <clears throat> Why do I keep doing that? Probably don't drink enough water. Um. Anyway, I just I never gave him any attention. I didn't worship him. I didn't talk to him. I neglected him. Um. So I guess this is this is uh that was his way of telling me he is real, and it's all about your decisions. You accept him. You worship him. You go to him for everything. You accept his son. and You're covered by the blood. And you will be with him for all eternity. Um, but if you neglect him. And, or you are doing stuff that is not, you know, not with the Bible. It's not his word. <clears throat> you will go without him. Um, but my first hell experience. It was, um, it was like I was there. I could see color. I can hear, I can feel. It's like my soul left my body and went there. Um, what it was first like, I was falling down a tunnel. And it was all red and black. As I was falling down the tunnel, um, there, was stirring, there was lava and fire coming out of the walls and going down the tunnel. And... Um, <clears throat> Sorry, jeez. And um the smell was horrible. It was horrible. I mean beyond horrible. It was disgusting. The smell was horrid. Um I couldn't take any more. It like every breath I took, it felt like I was breathing in fire. Every smell I was inhaling. Um, I just didn't want to breathe. Um, as I was getting closer and closer, I was in like the main area. I come out of this tunnel. Okay, while I was in the tunnel and coming down closer and closer, my skin started to peel off and started to go black. It was horrible. The pain was horrible. And I could hear the screams of people saying, go back, go back, you know, when I got out of the tunnel. People saying, go back, go back. Warn everyone. Tell everyone this is real. Tell, tell everyone this is eternity. Um, when I was falling down and come out, it came out of the tunnel, I saw, like, um, I can't really explain it, but it was like lava coming down from, you know, the side to a huge room. <clears throat> and people were in it. And um, that's everlasting torment. Um, once you're there, the 
they kept burning and they kept falling apart and they kept reappearing in the pit of lava. Um, the pain, the pain was horrible. I, oh, the pain was so bad. I couldn't stand it. So there was a large, <clears throat> you know, like kind of bowl thing, but it was coming down. Lava was coming down from the side into this kind of bowl thing and off to the, off down. Um, there are seven layers of hell. Um, I was the main area. The second part, um, my second experience, um, I'll share with that in another video, but I was in a different um, layer of hell. Um, people were in there screaming. The, the screams were loud. It was so loud it could bust out your eardrums. It's real. Why do we, why does it keep doing that? Sorry, I keep having problems with my camera. And that's why I have to keep having light. I'm sorry. My phone's being so stupid I try to fix it. Anyway. Um, there was demons on the other side. Just uh so here was a pit of lava. And here were demons right here. They were looking. At everyone's torment. They, they were half creatures. It was like a creature. The head of a creature. Body of a creature. Leg of a creature. Arms of a creature. I can't remember what they were. But they started laughing. And the laughters. Were like. <clears throat> sorry. Excuse me. Were loud. But they were deep. If that makes any sense. It's like, rrr, rrr, rrr. I can't. I can't imitate. I'm sorry. Um, but it was scary there. It's full of fear. There's no hope. There's no love. It's all fear and torment. And I, I looked from, you know, below me where I was falling and it was a long red jail cell. And <clears throat> hang it. Why do I keep doing that? I'm sorry. You have to excuse me. Um, I was heading down this one jail cell. Um, everywhere was red and black. All hope was lost. I thought I was dead. This is 100% true. Right? It was all fear. I was so scared. I was terrified out of my mind. I don't remember, I was trying to pray to God, but <clears throat> I asked the people that were in the pit, I said, where am I, where am I? I started yelling, screaming, where am I, where am I? They said, you're in hell, you're in hell, go back, tell everyone this is eternity. Go back and tell everyone this is real. It is real. I can assure you that it is real. I was so scared. I didn't... I didn't think I would come back. I thought I was dead. Right? But as soon as I was going to hit this, the ground of a jail cell, I woke up. It was, <clears throat> I woke up like, like I felt my, I felt my, my spirit come into my body. I woke up from it. Because it was at night. Just at the beginning. It was at night. And I was sleeping. But i I didn't feel it, but my spirit left my body. Right? I should have said that. I'm sorry. Where did I say that? I don't know. Um, I woke up, but my, my spirit came in back into my body. And I was sweating. I was crying. My heart was thumping out of my chest. I was terrified. Um... Actually, never mind. I'll share my second experience in this video. Um, I was thumping, and I was, my heart was thumping, and I was terrified. And then I looked up to the Lord. I didn't say anything. But um, I went back to sleep, and then <clears throat> I woke up the next morning went to school. And uh, I knew that was his way to get my attention. But, you know, it didn't get my attention. I didn't listen. I share the experience with my girlfriend. I share the experience with my parents. I share the experience with, with um, people I had to share it with. 
um, my second experience, um, you know, of course it didn't get my attention. I didn't, I didn't devote my life to, to the Lord. I didn't give the Lord anything. I didn't go to church. I didn't pray. I didn't read the Bible. Once again, I was, I was back neglecting him, neglecting his word. Um, so he sent me there again. Um, I, all I remember, I was standing in a hallway. It was a long, long, dark hallway. And it was, I don't know, it was pitch, pitch black. But then there was a, um, there was like an open door. It, 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 it was an open hallway, but it didn't have a door. <clears throat> but, but in there, it was red and black. Um, I, I didn't know where I was. I was walking toward, I was walking toward the doorway and I started to hear the screams again, the torment. I was starting to feel other people's, um, pain. That's what it was. I started to feel other people's pain. I felt what they felt. I knew that why they were there. I saw women and women, men and women there back in the pit <clears throat> when I exited the door. But I was on that on one layer and it was kind of like a ledge thing. I looked down and that, that was the main part. Um, but when I, when I got done looking down from the, the, um, the ledge, that's what it is. <laughs> Sorry, it's getting late and tired. Um, two demons. Um, they were seven to eight feet tall. I swear, they were, they were tall. Um, I, I know the Lord is guarding and protecting me as um, as I t tell my testimony, and I and I pray that the Lord guard, guards and protects you as you watch this. Um, kidding. <laughs> um. I'm sorry, I keep letting the light get in my other otherwise my phone will go yellow. I'm trying to fix that, I'm sorry. Um they grab my arms and I look up to them. You know, they're both on my left and right, and I look up to them and <clears throat> one had a bird head, like a like a dinosaur bird head. I don't know what they're called, I'm sorry. And then another one had um I've had a head like a creature I've never seen before, and um, they of course they grabbed me both my arms like right here, and um, they they started to pull me back to where I was walking from, but they they dragged me off to the corner, and then I saw <clears throat> men and women laying down on the ground on the other side, on the other side of the door. And um, <clears throat> they were being ripped open, and then um, they—I felt their pain. I knew that what, why they were there. I felt everything that they felt. Um. So one of them ripped my arm off, and uh, I felt everything. The pain was Im was unbearable. In hell, you feel everything. You know the smell, like like I said, the smell was horrible. Um, the pain was unbearable. I felt the heat. Imagine being close to a fire. So you know, you know, you put your hand to a fire, and that's how that's really hot. Or you, or you you could grab a lighter, and then you you you're stupid like me, and then you you whatever you know you whatever. That's really hot, isn't it? I imagine being close to a fire where a fire is straight, straight close to your face next to lava. That's how hot it is in hell. In hell, it's everlasting torment. There's no escape from hell. You can't crawl out of hell. I've seen testimonies where people seen that, okay, the Lord took them to hell and pe they saw people try to try to climb out of hell and they, they can't hell is forever hell is eternity and i know it saddens the lord and it really saddens me when 
people die without the Lord. Um, like I said, one will rip my arm off. Um, I don't remember being any blood. But I felt everything. <clears throat> if, if, like, if you think, you know, like, getting a little scratch, or you cut yourself with a knife on accident, you think that hurts. Like, my arm got ripped off. And um, I looked at it, and it was off. And then it grew back again. And then I kept ripping it off, and it kept growing back again. And then the other demon, he uh, he had claws. He put his claws in my in my stomach and ripped it up my chest and pulled out everything was in my chest. And then reappeared again. This is hundred percent true. I would not lie about this. He kept doing it. My arm kept getting ripped off. He kept doing it over and over and over and over again. The pain was unbearable. When you're in hell, you know what forever is. You know what death is like. I pray for you. If you know someone, sorry, if you know someone that is not with the Lord, I pray that the Lord will touch them. And speak to them in their hearts. Let's all pray together. Let's all join together. And pray for those lost souls that they may be saved by his grace and his blood and his mercy. That they, that they will spend eternity with him and not the second death, but with the second life.